Welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're embarking on a captivating journey to Uganda. Join me on this exploration of Uganda's history, culture, food, and people amongst other interesting facts. Uganda is a landlocked country located in East Central Africa. It lies across the equator, about 800 kilometers or 497 miles inland from the Indian Ocean. It has a total land area of 241,550 square kilometers or 932,629 square miles, making it similar in size to the United Kingdom. Its geography is diverse, consisting of fertile plains, several large lakes, and mountain ranges. Physically, the country can be divided into several natural regions. The southern region consists of open savanna grasslands, dotted with hills rising over 1,300 meters or 4,265 feet. The savanna landscape continues into the southeast. The western region is dominated by the Ruwenzori mountain range, which includes Africa's third highest peak at 5,109 meters or 16,761 feet. The Ruwenzori Mountains form part of the boundary with the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uganda has a diverse ecology and habitats ranging from savanna to tropical rainforest. Elephants, hippos, crocodiles, and over 1,000 species of birds can be found in its protected game parks. The mountain gorilla, an endangered species, inhabits Uganda's Bwindi Impenetrable National Park. The country's forests contain many species, such as chimpanzees, monkeys, baboons, and antelopes. Uganda has around 47 million people residing in the country, consisting of dozens of ethnic groups. The largest ethnic group is the Baganda, making up around 17% of Uganda's population. The Baganda have traditionally inhabited the central region near Lake Victoria and the capital Kampala. The Banyankole and Basoga to the southwest and southeast respectively comprise around 10% of the populace each. In the western highlands are the Bakiga people. Towards the north, ethnic groups such as the Acholi, Langi, and Karamojong are known for their distinct cultural practices. There are also small groups of pygmies living in forest areas. Uganda is predominantly Christian, with over 84% following denominations like Catholicism and Anglicanism. Another 12% are Muslim, residing mainly in northern areas. The remainder adheres to traditional African religions or other beliefs. While English and Swahili are the official languages, there are over 40 indigenous languages spoken in Uganda. Luganda is the most common, used by the Baganda and other groups. Runyankore Rukiga, Runyoro Ruturo, and Lusoga are other major languages. Most Ugandans also tend to speak multiple regional languages. Ugandan cuisine features a mix of indigenous and foreign influences. Staple foods like matoke, cooked plantains, and posho, cornmeal, are often served with flavorful meat stews and vegetable side dishes. Other popular foods have emerged from this blending of culinary cultures. Here are the top dishes you must try in Uganda. Rolex often called Uganda's favorite snack. This street food sensation combines the simplicity of chapati flatbread with the goodness of eggs. Chapati is wrapped around an omelet with veggies like onions, tomatoes, and cabbage for a quick and tasty bite. Fried chapati, another beloved street food, is chapati by itself, fried until crisp and golden. Locals often have it for breakfast or evening tea, dipped into a spiced beef or vegetable stew. The buttery layered texture of fried chapati keeps Ugandans coming back for more. Namungodi-flavored local rice is shaped by hand into compact balls or cylinder rolls, then wrapped in banana leaf bundles. 
They steam to perfect tenderness and make excellent snacks or sides. Vendors sell these luscious smoked rice packages by roadsides nationwide. Kakalai, meaning break into small pieces in Luganda language, this dish offers fried spicy nuggets of pork combined with onions, chili, and vegetables over ugali, rice, or matoke. It delivers a thrilling flavor punch of traditional style, an iconic mainstay sure to rouse your taste buds. Human settlement in the area dates back to at least 1000 BC. Later, medieval kingdoms gave way to British colonial rule starting in the 1800s. Uganda gained independence in 1962, but suffered under brutal dictators and civil conflict for decades after. Today, Uganda is recovering and rebuilding as a young republic, seeking economic progress and political stability. Back in the 11th century, organized kingdoms emerged in what is now Uganda. The Buganda Kingdom became wealthy and powerful based on agriculture, crafts, and regional trade. To the north was the Bunyoro Kingdom, challenged by invading Luo peoples from Sudan. Several smaller chiefdoms also thrived around this time before declining during the 15th century. In the late 1800s, British explorers arrived seeking the source of the Nile River. Religious missionaries soon followed to spread Christianity. By 1894, Britain declared Uganda a protectorate. Commercial production of coffee, cotton, and copper was promoted to support British economic interests. Traditional kingdoms were preserved to maintain order, but faced land pressures from new settlements. As calls for independence grew across Africa after World War II, Britain began preparations to withdraw from Uganda by late 1962. Elections brought a coalition government initially headed by Milton Obote. In 1966, Obote suspended parliament and eliminated rivals like Buganda Premier Edward Mutisa II in a violent coup. His oppressive regime soon gave way to that of Idi Amin from 1971 to 1979, infamous for political murders, human rights abuses, and economic decline. After the overthrow of Amin, political turbulence continued under several leaders over two decades. Yoweri Museveni finally brought relative stability in 1986. His emphasis on economic revival and educational development has helped Uganda's growth, despite northern insurgencies. Critics note repression of dissent as a threat to progress. As one of Africa's youngest nations, Uganda still faces hurdles in good governance and reconciliation amidst regional pressures. Uganda has made significant economic progress since the 1990s, overcoming a history of political instability and civil conflict. Its GDP currently stands at $45 billion according to World Bank data. The economy relies predominantly on agriculture, with industrial growth contributing greatly to its recent gains. Despite success in reducing poverty, the country still faces major obstacles to improving the living standards of its citizens. Uganda's economy has seen steady growth in recent years, although some structural challenges remain. Agriculture continues to be the dominant economic sector, employing approximately 72% of the country's labor force. Key crops include coffee, tea, cotton, tobacco, cassava, maize, and beans. Livestock farming of cattle, poultry, goats, and fish provides other agricultural output for domestic consumption and exports. However, droughts, crop diseases, and land fragmentation constrain agricultural productivity. Industry accounts for around a quarter of Uganda's GDP, the majority from manufacturing consumer goods, cement, steel products, sugar, and vehicle assembly. A growing construction sector has benefited from public infrastructure projects in recent years. The rapid expansion also continues in banking, tourism, 
education and telecommunication services. However, the industrial and services sectors face frequent power shortages due to unreliable electricity grids, which hinder operations and efficiency. If you enjoyed this video on Uganda, you'll love this next one.